For this jazz guitar tutorial, I arranged the Lady is a Tramp in chord melody style or an instrumental, it's also called. Hi, my dear jazz guitar aficionados around the globe. Sandra Sherman here. Greetings from Austria. The Lady is a Tramp is fairly easy to play. The only obstacle is its rather high tempo. But I'm going to show you everything note for note, slow and easy, and there is also a slow playthrough at the end of this uh, guitar lesson. I've made taps and uh, backing tracks which can be downloaded from one of the links down below in the description box. All right, let's get started. are in the key of C major and we have an AABC song form and both A sections are 16 bars long while the B and the C section each one of these is 8 bars long so we have a total of 48 bars here we go all right here is the first phrase and these are the first four bars of the a section i'm going to play through them at a fast or regular tempo now then i'll break it all down for you slow and easy note for note and then i'm gonna play through them uh, at slow tempo so here we go one two three four all right and actually it's the first eight bars because they are repeated. All right, we start, we're in the key of C major, we start with a C6-9 chord. Here is the root, or actually it's here also. Seven, seven, eight, eight, upper four strings. That's a C6-9. We start on count one and, one and. Then we go to, <coughs> sorry, to a C major seven. That's a 10, 9, 8, 7 of the upper four strings. Then the 10th of the E string. Then an E flat minor 7, a 2, 5. Uh, better angle here. E flat minor, that's the 11th of the E string. 11 of D, G and B strings by barring. Then I play the B string again. Then it's five chord. I move down to the A flat nine. That's 11 of the A, 10, 11, 11. Inner four strings only. And actually I start, I, first I just play up until the D string. And then the B string follows. Right, E flat. D minor 7, regular cowboy chord. 5, 7, 5, 6, 5, all the way through uh, the E string by barring. B string, E string. And then a G7. Here's the G. <coughs> Fifth, 5, 7, 6, 7 of the upper four strings. So that's also a 2-5. D minor to G7 is a 2-5 progression. 
then I hold it a, a bit. Play the now fill up. I fill the 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 bar because there's no more melody going on. I repeat the upper uh, three strings, sixth fret of the D, and twice the upper three strings. So what we get is G7 and a G7 flat nine. This is or a G sharp diminished chord. All right. And here's the entire first phrase at slow tempo. Three, four, one. And then you repeat it. Don't forget to repeat it. And here are the next four bars. This is phrase number two. One, two, three, four. We start with the same chord that we began with, the C6-9, 7, 7, 8, 8, upper four strings, on count one and, one and. Then it's uh, A minor 7, I play the fifth of the E, I don't play the A string, then the D, G, and the B on the eighth string, uh, eighth fret. Then the fifth of the B, by lifting my pinky off. Then I go to the G minor. I could play it like this, but I prefer to play it like this. So we have the third of the E, third of D, G and B. That's the same chord we had before, but on the G. And I play actually, yeah, I play that full chord and then I play the B string again. Then I move down, I have a 2-5 going on. Same thing we had in the beginning, E flat to A flat. Now we have a G minor to C9. I move down and get a C9. Three, two, three, three in a four strings, but I start with only up until the D string. And then the B string follows on the third fret. Right? G minor, C9. Resolution F major seven. First, that's the root. Second, second, and first. Then my pinky goes to the third of the B string. Let the rest ring. Keep it ringing. So don't do. That's not good. Open E string. While this rings, you go to shape a B flat nine chord, a rootless B flat nine chord. That's also D half diminished. Five, six, five, six in a four strings. Here would be the B flat. We don't play the root, so it starts on the third of the chord, right? B flat nine misses, and then the melody is over for that part. And what I do again is I play the upper three strings, D, G, and B, bass, and upper three, three strings twice. Like the fill before. Alright, here's the entire phrase number two at slow tempo. Two, three, four, one. And here we are already at the four, last four bars of the A1 section. Here we go. One, two, three, four. I put a little walking bass in the turnaround at the end. We start with a 2-5, E minor 7, with the root on top. 7-5-7-5 seven, five, seven, five by barring uh, in a four strings. E minor 7 this is. Then an, the 5 chord is an A7 altered, and I chose an A7 flat 9 because we need this as the uh, melody. That's a C-sharp diminished also. Four, five, three, five. C sharp diminished or A seven flat nine. <clears throat> then a B string again. 
D minor 9, 5, 3, 5, 5, then the G string, G13, 3, 3rd of D, 4, 5, C, that's the first of the B string, and followed by the C6 chord. That's the last chord, and then we add some walking bass. C, that's the third, uh, second, second, first, in a four strings. All right, let's repeat that. And now we have a turnaround. A turnaround is a one, six, two, five. In the key of C, this is a C, A7, I'm gonna show you in a second. D minor is the second degree, and G is the fifth. So one, six, two, five. And since there is no melody, I made it a little groovier. So um, I added a walking bass line, because that's really not that hard to do. Next chord is the A7. So I targeted by um, having an A flat in front of it, before it. A flat, and then I go to A7. That's the fifth of the E, five of D, and sixth of G. So we are one, two, three, and I actually I split the A7. I play the bass first, and L3, and I play the um, the rest of the chord. This is usually how you play walking bass. I have a. Uh, a YouTube tutorial up here on YouTube for walking bass, how to do that. Right? Next would be the a, D, D minor, and I approach it by, let's check what did I do? Yeah, I approach it by the E flat, sixth fret of the A string, and then I go down to the D flat, uh, D minor, starting with the bass, and the rest follows five. Three five, so I play the bass first and then the, these two. All right, and the last one is the G. I approach it via the G sharp, going to G, third fret, and the rest follows three of D and four of G. Yeah, and then C would be the, the beginning of the song again, and that's here, so I approach it via the B. The thing is I don't play the C because I need to be up there a second later, so that's too, would be too busy. So all I do is this. song begins again so I have enough time to go up there and it's perfectly okay to stay down here because it's not a chromatic it's the chord tone of G so I can uh, keep this unresolved that's perfectly fine okay here is uh, phrase number th three at slow tempo two three four one Welcome to the A2 section, and it's the same as the A1 section with, section with the exception of the last two bars. And you just rem you remember the uh, turnaround we just had? We don't play that anymore now, <clears throat> but we end on that C6 chord. And all we do is we fill, we do some kind of a rhythm filler. So I play that C6, that was three, two, two, one. Oh, we're getting out of picture here. Right. Then I do a little um, ghost note. You could play it also, but I usually just touch it and then it becomes a ghost note. Then I play the whole C6 chord twice. So that sounds like this, three, four, one, two. One more time, one and. Now we have to pick up to the B section. One and. A minor seven, 
five, 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 all the way up to the B string, no E string. And the eight, because that's a melody. Da, 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 da. So here is uh, the second house, the second ending uh, at slow tempo. Two, three, four. Welcome to the B section. This is phrase number five, the first four bars of the B section. Let's listen to it. One, two, three, four. All right, we had that A minor before that, and now we go to D minor seven. Five, seven, five, six, five bar chord. I strum through it. Then a little filler with the bass, A string, and then the three lower strings, A, D, and uh, G. Twice. Then I go to a G7 flat 9, and that's this diminished chord. G sharp diminished. We had it before actually. 6, 7, 6, 7 of the upper four strings. And also I fill, I, I put a rhythm filler in, bass, that's a D string, and then the three lower strings, D, G, B, twice. E minor 7, same as the D minor, on the 7th fret, here we go, 7, 9, 7, 8, 7, all the way through. Then the melody is the B string and the G string. A13, I take advantage of my open A string now. <clears throat> then 5 of D, 6, 7, plus the 5th of the E string barred. Then the uh, D, G and B string one more time. Then the filler bass. And the G, B string twice. So. And here is the entire phrase at slow tempo. One, two, three, four. Phrase number six are the last four bars of the B section already, so here we go. One, two, three, four. All right, we start with the D minor seven that we already know, uh, five, seven, five, six, five, all the way through the E string. Then the melody is on the B string and on the G string, but it's the D, so we need to put the pinky on here, right? Then the G13, we have the A13, now we're on the G, uh, three, four, five, three by barring upper th uh, four strings. Right? Then we fill, have a rhythm filler uh, with the lower three strings, D, G, B, bass, D string, and the three strings twice again. So. And now it's those kicks. Kicks are accents that the entire band plays. And that's a B flat 13, uh, 6, then the 6 of D, 7 and 8. Those are basic tension chords by the way. I have two chord tutorials up here as of now. Those are basic jazz 7th chords and the tension chords. Check them out. I'll put a card up here somewhere. All right, one, and I would strum through it now. That means you need, really need to mute to damp, uh, mute to dampen the A string. It's one and then the A13 we had before, but I would not play the A string. Well, you could, but I don't do it. F uh, five, six, seven, five. Then the D minus seven again. 
and the G7, we had this before also, I think. F uh, five, seven, six, seven, up of four strings. One and three, one and three. And here's the entire phrase number six at slow tempo. Two, three, four. Welcome to the C section. The first three bars are identical to the A section and the last five are different so I gave this a new name, not A3, but a C section. Okay, let me play through it. The entire C section of eight bars. Two, three, four. As I said, we start out the same as we did in the A section. One and C6, nine, C major seven, to the D, E flat minor ele uh, seven, B string, A flat nine, D minor seven. And now we go to a B half diminished. That's part of a D, D minor, because a B flat half diminished is actually a D minor six. Seven, seven, six, seven, upper four strings. I play it again because I, I need some filler, filling. Also filling for an E7 flat nine chord. That's the G diminished again. We have this uh, six, seven, six, seven. I start the filling with a, um, with the bass, the D string, and then I play the upper three strings twice. So there's no melody here, it's just a filling. Filler? Filling? I, I, I'm not sure. Please let me know in the comment section below because I'm, I'm searching for that word all the time. Uh, I fill up with a rhythm or whatever. Right? B half diminished. Again, E7 flat 9. See, all you need to do is rearrange your fingers. A minor 7 now, regular A minor 7 chord. Here's the A, 7, 9, 8, 8 of the upper four strings. Then again, this time I strum through it, usually, and then the high E string again. That's why the lady, D minor 7, 10, 10, 10, 10, here's the root. Then the E string. G9, it's five chord. Here would be the root, we don't play that. So we only play uh, the nine, 10, 10, 10 fret of the upper four strings. E string. And the resolution, C6, nine, the beginning chord is the ending chord, seven, seven, eight, eight. And here's the entire C section, phrase number seven at slow tempo. Two, three, four.
I have tons of chord melody tutorials up here on my YouTube channel, so you may want to consider subscribing my channel. Also, please give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Share the knowledge and the love. I see you next week. Servus, baba. Thank you.